So you just bought a new laptop and are excited to start using it for productivity. Fortunately, you came across this video before you start doing anything to your laptop. Allow me to explain why this knowledge you're about to assimilate is important to you in the long run. We hear this from people all the time where when they use their shiny new laptop for the first few times, it runs fast and snappy and they are pleased with it. But over the years, for a myriad of reasons, it starts to slow down and some folks thought to themselves because the computer is getting old and it's time to get a new one as though the computer is a biological entity. Though it's a heartwarming thought, I'm here to help you understand that it doesn't have to be this way. It is possible to take a snapshot of your computer, also known as a system image when you first bought it so that in the event of a virus attack, a forced Windows update that bricked your computer, or even something as nimble as your computer no longer being up to the same operating standards as you once remember it to be. You can always revert back to this very snapshot and in less than 2 minutes, have your computer behaves as though you just took it right out of the box. Here's how to do it in less than 4 minutes. Turn on your new computer. This is also the first time I turn on this new laptop of mine. Go through the setup but whatever you do, do not connect to the internet even if your laptop asks that you do so. The reason for this is because your hardware manufacturer have done its due diligence to make sure the hardware and software at the time works perfectly together. We do not want some forced update from Windows at this point which may or may not mess up your computer. This is an unnecessary risk to take. Do not connect to the internet at this point. Download Macrium Reflect using another computer. Or if you do not have another computer, connect to the internet briefly. Download the program and disconnect as soon as you can. Install and run it. Connect an external portable drive to your laptop to store the snapshot system image. Click this button. Select the portable drive you have plugged in and click Next. Congratulations! Now you can live in bliss knowing that no matter what happens to your laptop in the future that could screw things up, you will always be able to bring it back to its original state. Now I will show you how to restore your laptop using the snapshot you have made. You do not have to do that now of course, but this is useful knowledge so keep this video. Assuming that somewhere in the future you have decided that it is time. Make sure you have all your files backed up before you do this because this will revert your computer back to its pure state where all your files doesn't exist within it in the first place. The first thing we need to do is to create a master boot USB drive. Take a spare USB thumb drive you have laying around and plug it in. Click this button. Select your drive and click build. Understand that if the reason you're doing this is because of a virus. You might want to build this master boot USB using another computer instead. Now with the thumb drive in, press and hold on to the shift button and click restart. Click this button and then this button. Your computer will restart into this interface of purification. Connect the portable drive that have your snapshot system image file contained within it. Click on browse for an image file. Find that file. Click on Restore Image. Delete all the old partitions. Click Next, Finish, accept the confirmation and click Continue. When it is done, you can close the program and your computer will restart back to its original state as though you have just purchased it. Good as new! Some of you might be wondering, why not just use the built-in reset feature of Windows instead? Well, first of all, the restoration speed is significantly faster using this method. Now for the real reason. Using this method that I have taught you, you will be able to save multiple states of your computer. You can save a state for when your computer was just purchased, 
and another where all the programs you needed are installed so you can revert to that snapshot instead so that you don't have to reinstall all your programs again which for me could take up to a whole day keep this video you will find it to be most useful when you least expected it to be do your backup now this is Brazil Jack please support me in patreon and I will see you next week bye